one GANS and pulmonary artery catheters are the same and Swan and Gans are the name of the physicians I think who first placed this catheter from its name it's a catheter that its distal end sends on one of the branches of the pulmonary artery right here as you see the catheter usually inserted through a major vein either subclavian or IJ or subclavian or femoral and goes through the superior vena cava or inferior vena cava and into the right side of the heart and then into the right atrium through the tricuspid valve here let me change here and then to the right ventricle here and then through the pulmonic valve here right here sorry and then into the major pulmonary artery and then it goes in one of the branches and sits there with the balloon there the Swangans or pulmonary artery catheter it's basically a right heart catheterization if you hear right heart catheterization it's basically a procedure similar to the pulmonary artery catheter or Swangans catheter the difference sometimes right heart catheterization they just do put the catheter in and out and take these measurements while swan usually it's a catheter stays there in a critically ill patient or patients high risk uh, patients um, and take these continuous measurements uh, just for your records right heart catheterization is very different from left heart catheterization right heart doesn't involve any contrast so no contrast on it this is just for your record so it's okay to do it in not contraindicated in renal failure renal failure while left heart catheterization it involves contrast and mainly used for coronary angiography and intervention and uh, you have to be careful with renal failure so if you get this question about somebody with renal failure they need right heart catheterization it's okay go ahead and do it for that reason as you see the catheter pass through the uh, superior vena cava to the right atrium right ventricle and pulmonary artery so it can give you measurements about the right atrial pressure which is equivalent to the CVP we'll come to that right ventricular pressure and pulmonary artery pressure and which pressure because it's passing through those areas nowadays in real life experience or clinical practice this one GANS catheter use is restricted to cardiology and cardiac surgery I have not seen a single swan to be honest with you used outside these patients and in critically ill pulmonary hypertensive patients but usually cardiology are involved in this patient along with pulmonary critical care right I haven't seen a single swan used in other types of shock so you don't expect to see it other than this scope um, because the clinical trial as you said in 2004 i think 2005 found that there is no change in the outcome with in people who we used swan gans catheter uh, so since then their use has dramatically decreased and again nowadays you won't see it done and inserted uh, outside the cardiology and cardiac surgery like uh, during cardiac surgery like cabbages and post cabbages valvular surgeries or in cardiogenic shocks whether left-sided or right-sided severe pulmonary hypertension or critically ill that's what we're going to use the cardiologist to help them titrate in the tropics pressures and volume status of those patients i will have separate videos about volume stats in critically ill patients because nowadays we use our clinical knowledge and sense to do that so we're not involved much in those patients usually these patients the swans troubleshooting the swans the reading of swans and um, acting upon these readings with management usually done by cardiology and cardiac surgery but we'll go through the basics so you have an idea about that